crazy things about this market is that the utilities keep marching higher, even though typically at this point in the business cycle, investors want nothing to do with them. As I've told you before, I think the economy is so strong that these companies are doing incredibly well, which is why their stocks continue to move higher. Yeah, they kind of have a, it's a play on the GDP. Take Dominion Energy, which is one of the largest producers and transporters of energy in the United States. Here's a stock that hit a new 52-week high earlier this week. Even though Dominion, with its 3.8% yield, is exactly the kind of stock that you expect to go lower in an environment of economic acceleration, global synchronized rally, and rising interest rates. But Dominion's doing well. They reported a solid quarter on Monday, and more importantly, management talked about the many growth projects they've got in the works. From a new power generation facility in Virginia, liquefied natural gas export terminal in Maryland, and a new natural gas pipeline that will connect the Utica and Marcellus shales, big nat gas, to Virginia and North Carolina. The liquefied natural gas terminal is especially exciting. It's expected to start producing <laughs> production later this month, and it's on time. It was built on time for this, <laughs> Without, and within budget. So can Dominion keep hanging in there? Let's check in with Tom Farrell, the chairman and CEO of Dominion Energy, find out more about the quarter and his company's process. Mr. Farrell, welcome back to Mad Money. Great to be with you, Jim. Hope you're well. Oh, I'm well, thank you. I hope the same. Tom, I have I never thought of utilities as exciting, but when I pick up the stuff about your utility, the first thing that jumps out at me is this Facebook deal. And it's so exciting, I want people to know about it. Go ahead. Well, we did a deal with Facebook. Uh, they're going to open a very large data center in central Virginia. Uh, and we did a special rate. Uh, we constructed a special rate that we would be able to provide them and other uh, large industrial customers uh, for, face for data centers in particular that will power the data centers uh, completely from renewable energy. Uh, this will be solar. Even though, I mean, look, I mean, wonderful deal. I mean, to me, this is the breakthrough deal. What it says is an old line utility company is using new technology to drive prices down and get the best customer in America, other than maybe where Amazon puts its second uh, headquarters. Uh, it, now, is this something you personally worked on? Uh, I approved it. I didn't come up with all the concepts. I, I did direct that we create a new tariff, as we would call it in the utility business, to serve these kind of customers. We did a different kind of a deal, but also very creative with Microsoft about a year ago to bring a data center of theirs here as well. As you know, Jim, more than half of the uh, Internet traffic in the United States runs through our service territory, and we provide the electricity for all those data centers. Well, We've that, already opened 11 new ones this year. I think you're too humble, so I will say, because of both your reliability and your incredibly low cost of energy to your customers, that's why you get these, right? That is exactly why we get them. Okay, now you've got a couple of projects that are gigantic, putting a lot of people to work that I find very exciting. Uh, Atlantic Coast Pipeline, obviously the liquefaction terminal. I want to talk about both. Let's start with liquefaction. It's about ready to go. And this is on budget and on time. Yeah, it's, uh, our projects are, it's a mantra around Dominion Energy, Jim, that things are done on time and on budget. And Co Point is a, about a $4 billion project. It's been under construction for three years. It's essentially complete. We're doing the commissioning work now, the startup work. We will make LNG this month, uh, and we expect to be commercial, uh, serving our customers uh, by the end of the year. We have all the permits necessary to liquefy the natural gas. And We're looking forward to having pro providing that service. And you're confident uh, customers, right? We have uh, two customers that have signed up for 20 years each, wow. capacity payments. Capacity payments. So that's it. You're going to make money from day to day this opens. That's right. Yep. Incredible. Absolutely. Now, uh, you're doing a Greensville uh, Country Power Station. I mention this because it saves $2 billion in fuel costs because it's, what, the most up-to-date natural gas facility? It'll be the largest, most efficient natural gas uh, power plant in the United States when it's finished, which will be late next year. It's a little over 60 percent done now, another project that's on time and on budget. And last Super but not efficient gas turbines. Right. And uh, last but not least, Atlantic Coast Pipeline. Pipelines are supposed to be notoriously difficult to build, permit, whatever. This one's on time and on budget, too. We've been in the pipeline business. You know, I know people think of, of us as electric utility, which we are. We've been in the pipeline business almost 100 years as well, uh, and we know how to do them. Uh, this one is 600 miles long. It starts in central West Virginia and runs to the North Carolina, South Carolina line. Uh, we, we are expecting the last of the permits uh, in the next few weeks, and we'll be under construction late this year. Well, look, the reason I always recommend you guys is not just because I think that you've done a fantastic job, but it's well run and it's on time and the huge projects are not easy to do. It's been a fantastic stock and a great run. We're sticking with you, Tom Frowes, the chairman, president and CEO of Dominion Energy. Great to see you, sir, at all times. Thanks very much, Jerry.
This is what I love, okay? This is the kind of company, it's a growth utility. Look, if you're too nervous about everything else, go with Dominion. Mad Money's back after the break. Booyah, Jim Cramer here from Mad Money. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube. Click here to subscribe and get the jump on my exclusives with CEOs, plus market news, investing advice, and a whole lot more.